Welcome to BioFit episode 5. My name is Leslie Samuel and in this video I'm going to talk about the isoelectric point of proteins. Inside this video I'm going to talk specifically about what the isoelectric point is and why it makes the proteins in the cell negative. So let's dive right into it. Now while we're going into it there's one thing I want to keep in the back of your mind. When you have opposite charges what do they do? Those opposite charges are going to attract. Hold on to that bit of information, keep it in the back of your mind and I'm going to ask you that question at the end of this video. So what exactly is the isoelectric point? I'm glad you asked. The isoelectric point is the pH at which the protein has a net charge of zero. So if the pH is at the isoelectric point of a particular protein, that particular protein will have no net charge. Most proteins in the cell have an average isoelectric point of between 4.5 and 4.7. Please remember those numbers and let's continue. There are many proteins in each cell and of course since neurons are cells there are going to be many proteins in the neurons. The pH inside the cell is approximately 7.2. Now you remember the numbers before between 4.5 and 4.7 would be the isoelectric point and what we'll see is that this is going to influence the proteins. How exactly is it going to influence the proteins? Well, let's look right at that. Here we have a protein and you'll see the number zero showing that this protein has no charge. Why does it have no charge? Because the pH is at the isoelectric point. Now look what happens as I move away from this isoelectric point. If I go above the isoelectric point, that's going to give the proteins a negative charge. If the pH goes beneath the isoelectric point, it gives the protein a positive charge. Now, remember I told you that the pH in the cell is approximately 7.2. So what's that going to do to the charge of the proteins inside the cell? It's going to cause the proteins that are in the cell to have a negative charge. Now let me ask you this question. Let's see if you remember. What's going to happen if I have an ion that has an opposite charge, so a positive charge on the outside? Okay, okay, not exactly, but yes, they will be attracted. I want you to remember that for when we get to the next episode. But the take home message for this video is, because of the isoelectric point of most cellular proteins and the pH in the cell, proteins in the neuron will have a negative charge and the inside of the cell will be negatively charged. That's it for this episode and I'll see you in the next one.